So have you ever heard anyone refer to someone else as a low life? Now that's not a very nice uh, term to refer to someone as, but it's often earned by someone who uh, performs an act of evil on another person. For example, someone might break into a house and steal someone's possessions and um, then people may refer to them as a low life. Today we celebrate the great feast of the ascension of our Lord into heaven. To know the power of this feast and indeed the power of our faith, it's important to reflect on the word heaven. Pope Benedict XVI, in one of his homilies while he was Pope, uh, he preached on heaven. And he said, rather than seeing heaven as a place, it is better to see it as a way of being, a state of being, a form of being. And as a person of faith, it's the highest form of being. Now, living on earth, we're not part of that highest form of being, but we strive to become higher and higher in the way we live our lives, in the way we are. And we do that as people of faith. And so in today's gospel, Jesus, before he ascends in front of the disciples into heaven, he gives us a mission. And he says, you need to preach repentance for the forgiveness of sins to the whole world. So that's our mission, to do that. Why do we need to do that? Because none of us, not one of us, is immune from evil. And so the more evil we do, the lower our form of living is. But the less evil we do, and the more good we do, the higher our form of being is. So as people of faith, we need to spread the good news of Jesus, the incredible love that he has for us, and that the risen Jesus is with us always, helping us to avoid evil, to battle, to fight against evil, and to strive for good. For the more we do that, the higher will our form of being be, being with God, and then hopefully when our life on earth ends, we'll experience the highest form of being with Jesus in heaven.